Hi, today is February 27th, 2016. My name is Christopher Young. I'm aboard uh, sailing vessel Raven Vagabond 47 uh, here uh, in Seattle, and we're gonna fix the hydraulic steering system today. Um, right here is a new light that I put in. Well, the old light still has some holes, and through these holes is leaking red hydraulic fluid. It's slowly and steadily all week long, all of it has leaked out of the system and drift right here and I've been catching it. So I gotta figure out what's going on. Um, obviously it is coming from the steering station right here. You can see there's oil here leaking and uh, there's something uh, wrong in there. So here's the wheel. I took all. I took the compass off. Um, basically, the wheel turns this thing, and there must be some kind of piston in there because uh, this presumably, if you push fluid into here, it uh, makes the wheel turn, makes the rudder turn to port, I guess, and that one makes it turn to starboard, and this one's to the reservoir. So. You can see there's all this fluid in here, and it appears it's coming out of the the point right here where the wheel is attached. So I need to get this box out and see what in here is leaking. So I got it off. Um, Basically, the steering wheel of the boat goes on here and spins this guy back and forth. And I guess it's a pump and it pushes the fluid back and forth. Um, it appears the leak was coming out here somewhere, so there must be a gasket in there. Um, so I'm gonna take these huge Allen bolts out and see what's in there. Uh, hopefully I don't mess up my teak. This is plastic, and it seems pretty old, but in great shape. Uh, there's a gasket here that looks good. So presumably, there's a gasket in there that is goofing up, but I have to play with it some more. Okay, mystery solved. Um, there is a little plastic um, O-ring right here that just wore out and broke into a million little pieces. I went to a shop and came up with a possible solution for the broken seal. Um, the leak was coming out of here. And there's a one inch, oh, wow, did not know that came out. <laughs> so, interesting. So they gave me this one inch gasket, but I just now discovered that this piece of plastic comes out, so I need to reevaluate that. All right, got the spindle back in the box. I don't know all the terminology, but basically what it comes down to is this um, black gasket right here, will this keep the oil in when I, I put this on? Um, there was a kind of weird uh, plastic seal here that atrophied and cracked into a million pieces. So I don't know if this will get enough pressure on it to hold the, hold the oil at bay. Okay, so this doesn't matter how this goes. We shall see. Okay. There. Feels fairly tight. So this is promising. The biggest problem I've had is there's no easy way to add fluid to the system. Um, I really wish they would have mounted this 
uh, about six inches lower so I could pour fluid in here. I took a plastic um, hosing, stuck through the top, ran it out here, and up to a funnel right this way. So let's check the level first. Like we're about half full, and I'd like to get a good three quarters full. So, you fill up the hose, and then you have to lower it down a little and let the air bubble out. There's and then once the air bubbles out, lift it back up and it'll slide right down. There's probably some scientific principle this is working on. I don't know what it is. Okay, got everything put back together. Um, I pressurized it with about 30 PSI. It's not leaking right here. And the reason I got into this was it was leaking off this front face here. So I'm gonna go and run some errands and whatnot and uh, leave this white cloth here uh, to see if it drips down in there. So if in a couple hours we got um, some fluid there, we got, got to start all over again. But hopefully there's no leak there, then I can put the wheel back on fully, start turning it, make sure it actually functions. Okay, I got the helm put back together. So it's the moment of truth. Okay, turning to port. Oh, nothing, nothing. Oh, it works. It seems to work great. So I'm going to turn it hard to port and go and look at the rudder in the water. I'm pretty much sure it has to be. Because the rudder indicator is separate from the hydraulics. Yep. I don't know if you can see, but the rudder is uh, 10 degrees to the left. Okay, now I'm gonna go hard to starboard. Yeah, it's smooth. It's like butter. Yeah, it looks great. Um, so the lesson here is do not be intimidated by uh, hydraulic steering. Um, if you've never messed with hydraulics, it's, it's a little scary. But the underlying mechanical principles are very simple. You're basically moving fluid from one chamber to another chamber. And as long as nothing is leaking, it's going to work properly. So uh, any repair you do, it's just a matter of simple plumbing. Find the leak, fix the leak. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please leave any comments if you have any questions.